Don't put me on hold. Damn. County tax assessment. Yeah, I'm calling uh, about a bill. Is that something you can take care of? Yeah, I got a little complaint with it. Actually, a pretty big complaint. Yeah, taxes on here. Uh, uh, school taxes. Uh, man, I tell you what, on, on my house, you got me almost $700 in just school tax. You don't say. Then $20 here, $10 there, $25 here. But the whole bill adds up. Probably 60% of it's school tax. It's on my electric bill. It's on my water bill. You're going to tax everybody to death to work. Nobody owns anything. And you're all going to own it all. Yeah. Okay. Well, sir, I, you know, first and foremost, I'd like to apologize for any inconvenience this may have caused you. Uh, again, we appreciate your phone call. We appreciate you telling us uh, what's bothering you here. And we appreciate your honesty and for bringing this to our attention. Uh, it shows here in our system that you're actually supposed to be paying $989 instead of the $678 that you were originally charged. So again, thank you for your honesty and thank you for calling the Kentucky Tax Revenue Service. The last minute man, and I'm back here today on the range. I'm with my good buddy, Mr. Obvious. And Mr. Obvious, what season is it? It is werewolf season. It is getting that time, folks. And you got to get serious about this stuff. Too many people make light of it. And I think it's time we got serious about werewolves. And what do we got today for our werewolf medicine? We got a 44 Magnum Smith & Wesson. That is right. A little snubby nose type deal, yeah. So, I, I love this daggone gun, all joking yeah. aside. Uh, uh, the 44 Magnum is like my favorite round, and is it the best of anything? Not really, but it's it's an awesome caliber. and uh, It works good on werewolves. It works great on werewolves, I hear tell. I mean, yeah. it worked for Gary Busey, so. Yeah, uh, yeah so uh, Mr. Obvious has had this firearm for a long time. This did belong to your dad. So Mr. Obvious, uh, what uh, model is this here, 44 Magnum? It's a 629-1. A Smith & Wesson mm -hmm. 629-1. And uh, this was your daddy's gun. And uh, go ahead and tell the story how your dad came about this. Now, he was a World War II veteran. Yeah. And uh, he was not a man that would shy away from danger. No, he was, he was not. No, he, he's a tough, <laughs> tough dude. Yeah, I, he's one of them old dudes. If you went looking for trouble, guess what? You just found it. You yeah. Know, went back away from it. <laughs> So he, he, he had a rough time, but poor feller, he's he's not with us anymore. So uh, he uh, he had a 38 uh, special. He carried a lot, uh, yep. snubby, and uh, he got in a defensive situation uh, where he had to use it, and it didn't quite get the job done. Yep. So he looked at me. I was a little, little bitty feller then. He said, uh, "I've heard this story from multiple yeah. people." He said, "Boy." <laughs> And no other man will walk away from me. And he pulled that out of him. And I said, what you got there, Dad? And he said, a 44 Magnum. Yeah. <laughs> he <laughs> like, said, Whoa. And, and he told my grandfather, and, and they were all, after this incident had happened, and uh, he did defend himself. It was a legal shooting. So uh, he defended himself against an attacker, and uh, the guy lived. And he said, boys throw away your 38s. <laughs> he, said, yeah. he shot that guy point blank. The guy was coming down with a knife, I believe. Yeah. And uh, he he owned a bar, so it was a, it was a rough scene. And this was yeah. many years ago. But yeah, he said, boys, throw away those 38s. Yeah. That's, and uh, he got this 44 Magnum. And, yeah. uh, and uh, it, it is, I got to say, 
in my mind, just the best feeling 44 Magnum in your hand. This grip that's on this, and they make them like this now. They make a new model of this. It doesn't feel like this one, though. I've held them. And I, I said, well, I know what the real McCoy felt like because I've, I've held it in my hand. And I said, these just don't feel the same. This thing just feels good in your hand. Mm -hmm. It really does. Yeah, yeah. This gun here, they made another model. It's got a... Uh, just a solid cylinder and it's not fluted. This is the right. first model they ever come out with it fluted. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think now they're starting to make them again fluted. Yes, so, they do. Yeah. They're, they're identical mm -hmm. to this. The grip is a little thinner on the new ones. Yeah. It doesn't feel like that gun. It doesn't feel balanced like that gun. Yeah. And it could just be me, you know, because uh, you look fondly upon things. I've always lo loved this gun. Yeah. And I remember the first time you let me shoot it. And I said, this thing is just awesome. Uh, you know? it is. It's an awesome gun. I tell you what, I, I haven't shot it in years, so I don't know if it's still zeroed on or not, but this is what I carried when I was younger. So. But, yeah, we'll, we'll shoot it right here at this close target. We're just shooting about 20 yards, and uh, we'll kind of see how it does. Now, you've got to imagine this is a werewolf season, and uh, we are casting some silver bullets and uh that'll be we'll be bringing you that on halloween but uh here we go mr obvious let's get out here and do some shooting all right okay so mr obvious uh pointed out he didn't want to rapid fire this tell him why mr obvious it's got a lot of recoil <laughs> and when, when you start getting that arthritis and stuff why beat yourself up these are hand loads these are hot but they're not like you know diabolically hot or anything all but right. But I'm going to shoot here. Uh, we'll see if I hit anything. But I'm going to fire two shots on single action, and then I'm just going to empty it. So we'll, we'll see how it does. I want you to get a good view of the recoil here. Like I said, not diabolically hot, but no, you know, they're, they're hot enough. Unique. They're, they're werewolf loads. So <laughs> here we go. Let's see if I can hit that target at all. Okay, here we go. What do you think about that? Yowzers! No, it's not so bad. It's well, not that's so not bad. a hot load. That's a that's my target load, so they're not real hot. No, that's uh, it's what I would call a moderate magnum. Yeah. So yeah, it's nothing nothing that bad. Not a scorcher. No. All right, you want to try your hand at it there, Mr. Yeah, Obvious? Yeah, I'll shoot three or four rounds. Oh, all right, all right Mr. Obvious. The uh, rain is coming, and we're gonna melt away because we're made of sugar. Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah, we can do with this thing. All right, so let's see the recoil in your hands, and uh, we got the picture in picture a running. All right, here we go. Woohoo! He's wearing it out. Did you do a double action shot? No. You're good. I'm good. <laughs> All right, let's get back for an AAR. And we are back with our after action report. And what do we have to report today, Mr. Obvious? A little bucking bronco here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad we was only shooting 200 grain bullets and a light load, because I could, uh, even with that, you can feel it. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's snappy. It's, yeah, it's nothing yeah. serious. Not with this load, but right in here before you take a full and I'm telling you, 40 grain. We got in just in time because the rain is coming now. So like I said, we're made of sugar. So we, <laughs> we just melt. We're just that sweet. But uh, I got to tell you what's really sweet is this firearm. I love this thing. Uh, <laughs> always thought it was cool. Uh, one of the inspirations between me getting that 329 PD that I got, it's an ultra lightweight. And I can tell you that thing, with a 305 grain bear load, which mm. which I do have. And uh, boy, it feels good yeah. when you shoot it. He shot it one time, and I, no, actually it was my uncle. He shot it one time and he said, throw that son of a bitch away. <laughs> he said yeah. that but I had a real hot load in it. And then I let Mr. Obvious shoot it, and I think you put one or two rounds through it, and you said, that's too hot. Yeah. And so I started loading some lighter, just 240 grains for it, and um, a little little lighter load uh, mm. and and it's basically what i would call a moderate magnum kind of like these and uh, it's not too bad i mean this this uh, has recoil but it's manageable 
You know, especially like I said, don't don't be loading them diabolically hot and shooting through this. It, <laughs> I mean, you're just beating yourself up and making a lot of noise. You're not really achieving anything by doing that. I think the barrel length kind of hinders you from uh, getting the uh, full potential out of a hotter load. Dare yeah. I say? So. But it shoots fairly accurate, that thing does, yeah. what it is. I guess that's a full, what, three inch barrel maybe on that? It's a that? three inch. And uh, Mr. Obvious and I, either one didn't miss. No. So we were kind of all over. But when I went to double action, my group widened up. But uh, that's okay. Uh, it's kind of what you'd expect. But uh, man, just, it feels good. You know, just the all the, the mechanical work in this is just so good. It's Smith & Wesson. They've always known what they're doing, and I don't know that these are really better, dare I say, uh, better than the new models, but something about it I like better. I mean, I'll just say that. It, it's uh, just neat, you know. I like seeing how things work, and I like the, the feel of this gun, and I like just putting my hands all over it. It's just, you know, it's like a, like a hot woman. You just want to put your hands all over it. <laughs> So yeah. yeah, this is this is definitely a sweet, 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 yeah. sweet. Uh, oh, I revolver. like that gun. I've had this gun for years and years. Uh, this is the first pistol Dad gave me, and he he said it's the only thing to carry, boy. I said, well, whatever. <laughs> he said uh, they won't be running off from you. I said all right, and I carried this for a lot of years, and uh, so yeah. Fortunately, we we've never had to use them in that capacity, but. Yeah, we're ready for the werewolf. Yeah. If he shows up, we are prepared. And you know what? If you're not prepared, you better get prepared, right? Yeah. It's werewolf season. Guys, get you a 44 mag. They're fun to shoot at any barrel length. Yeah. Uh, fun to have. I like the shorter barrels and stuff. They're a little more handy to me. I mean, Mr. Obvious can tell you, he has witnessed me miss a target that close with a long barrel. I'm doing something in the way I'm shooting wide dip or something, and it's just accentuated with the longer barrel. The longer barrel hurts me. It's so funny. Yeah. But it's the, it's my grip. It's the way I'm holding it or something. Yeah. So. When when Dad gave me this gun, he went and bought him another 44 Magnum. He got a six inch barrel, mm -hmm. Smith and Wesson, and that's what he carried deer hunting. Yeah. That's all he carried. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and a 44 Magnum is a, an excellent round for deer hunting. I know a lot of people. Uh, bag their deer with uh, with 44 mag, and uh, it, it's a good utilitarian all around caliber. I love a 44 mag. Can't say enough good about it. If you don't own a 44 mag, correct that. Remedy that issue. Get you one. At, I love Ruger's. Ruger's are great. The Taurus guns are good guns. Uh, you'll hear people knock this, that, or the other. You know, really, that's a lot of bias. It's, it's not, there's nothing wrong with the Taurus. It's a good gun. Yeah. But uh, definitely, I, I prefer the Smith over just about anything. Yeah. And uh, that's just my two cents. And uh, anything to add, Mr. Obvious? No, nothing really. I mean, it's a great gun. I've had it for years, and it'll be a safe queen from now. Well, uh, everybody out there, have a good time. Uh, be safe. Remember, keep your knife sharp. Keep your powder dry. Subscribe to Last Minute, man.